I gave my message to the wind. I told my story to the sea. No one else is listening to me. The hidden truth clear in my mind. Soon all alone I will not find. Somehow, somewhere, someone may. That nightmares are dreams perverted. I've told them here it wasn't a nightmare, but they don't believe me. They nod and make little notes in my file, and they watch me now, waiting for me to scar my breasts, to eat insects maybe, or to lift my dress like some crazy old woman and urinate on the floor. But there's so little time left. You've got to listen. Not far from here, there's a small town on the coast. They used to call it New Bethlehem, but they changed the name to Point Dune after the moon turned blood red. Point Dune doesn't look any different than a thousand other neon stucco towns. But what happened there, what they did to me, what they're doing now, coming here. They're waiting at the edge of the city. They're peering around buildings at night. And they're waiting. They're waiting for you. And they'll take you one by one and no one will hear you scream. I went there looking for my father. He used to spend winters in Point Dune painting. Then, after my mother died, he stayed, and his letters became our only contact. Until recently, when his letters became more and more bizarre and finally stopped. I have little time now. I can't write again. But you mustn't worry. And please, you must promise not to follow me. I'm afraid to see people anymore. It's better that I wait alone for it to come.
doesn't sound like dogs. Has to be. Has to be dogs. I've hunted in them woods out there. Nothing but quail and rabbits. Rabbits don't make that sound. That's Point Dune ahead, isn't it? Why do you want to go to Point Dune? I'm visiting somebody there. I can't understand why anybody would want to go to Point Dune. Visiting. I mean, it's just a piss poor little town. It's deader than hell. Machine's broke, lady. Don't you have any cash? Well, no, but this is. That's all right. Forget it. Oh, get out! Your, uh, your stamps?
Doctor. June 30th, for three nights now, I, I haven't slept. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Visions are coming from areas of my mind that, that I don't understand. July 2nd, these grotesque images keep crowding in on me. At night, I find myself wandering alone in town, catching glimpses of horrid animals I, I know can't be there. Faces haunt me, pale women with sleepless eyes and shadowy figures staring toward the black water. He didn't return that night. I walked along the beach in the morning, as I'm sure he must have, coming out of the nightmares he spoke of back into the daylight. I drove into town later. It was hot already. I saw an art gallery and I thought they might know my father. The art dealer was blind. Her fingers moved like a pale spider over my face. Joseph Lang? Do I know who he is? We do get magazines in Point Dune, which some of us can even read. Well, I meant I'm looking for him. And I thought maybe you knew him personally. Point Dune isn't an artist colony. I heard he did take people out there, mostly women. But they weren't from Point Dune. Uh, there were some people in this morning looking for your father, which means some people do like his brand of art. Who were they? I don't know. Strangers. I think they're staying at the Seven Seas.
I'm as old as the hills. Mama delivered me herself. She took me from between her legs. Bloody little mess. Just about to feed me to the chickens. And Daddy said, maybe we could use a boy, Lottie. That's how I came into the world. Excuse me. They said at the gallery that you were looking for Joseph Lang. He's my father, and, and I just... Just come in and close the door. All I want to know is if you knew... Close the door. about only once mama gave him a bad look when he talked about it he was only a boy himself then he called it the blood moon he said that was the night that he lost religion he learned that men could do could do horrible things like animals i'm really hungry I've got the munchies. <laughs> Shut up. Go ahead, Charlie. What about the moon? A hundred years ago, the moon started turning red up in the sky and things began to happen. It was like the red of the moon got up there. The closer the people were being jerked toward hell, where the people started bleeding out of control. They found children eating raw meat. It was like the Thomas Bestern with a, an open sore until the night that they, until the night they came down out of the canyon. And... Who came down, Charlie? I gotta go. Charlie, take the wine, Charlie. Well, thanks for your Kindly hospitality. I'm looking for my father. Do you know him? I know of him. They told me at the gallery. I... We drove by the gallery this morning. I happened to see how this works in the window. I didn't know that he lived here. They didn't have any of his paintings there. Well, that's popularity. Because they did this morning. I offered to buy one, and the old woman said they weren't for sale. As a matter of fact, it was a portrait of you. Tom likes to collect things. Like old drunks. Old-fashioned retort. <laughs> What's a retort? Tony, you're half girl, half child and half wit. <laughs> Sit on it, sister. Don't be afraid. I'm an ugly old man, but I'm harmless. It's about your daddy. They mustn't hear me. I got him fooled. I get drunk, sleep on the sidewalk like a dog, and they let me be. I ain't crazy. Hello, Charlie. What about my father? You have to kill him. You're crazy. You can't bury him. Don't put him in the ground. You gotta burn him. You gotta put fire to his body. Town asking about my father. The reaction was always the same. People would only stare or shake their heads and back away. July 6th. Our lady called this morning. I listened to her, but couldn't let her know I was here. My voice would have terrified her. At times, I make noises which don't seem human, and my mind is letting go. 
I try to remember the past, my daughter, but I can't. Instead, I, I think of death. Always death. What are you doing here? You look so comfortable, I didn't want to wake you. You're very pretty when you sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a nap. Want to come? You can't stay here. Just for the night. I'm willing to pay. We had a little trouble at the motel. You remember the old gentleman who was telling us the story? Of course I do. He was mad. Perhaps. But when they found him this afternoon, he was dead. The police came and questioned us. Needless to say, they weren't very understanding what with me and my two traveling companions. And then suddenly, every other motel locked and shuttered its windows. You're the only other person we know. What happened to the old man? They found his body in the alley. He must have passed out or something. The police theorized that it must have been dogs. Found his body half eaten. I let them stay. I never understood why. It was as if I'd come into a foreign town where I didn't speak the language and was sharing a house with people I'd have never met in my other life. Would you like some more? Yes, thank you. across the Mediterranean from Africa. I was born in Portugal, in a castle. I thought it was a villa in Spain. My mother was a Portuguese, aristocrat. My father was rich and American. I have a castle that stands above the sea. One of our legends tells us. Tom, what are we doing in this shitty place? I don't know, really, as I was saying. Every race has their legends. The Romans, the Greeks, even the folk here in Point Dune had their stories. I'm interested in their story about the blood moon. <coughs> what was 
was your father doing here? He didn't know anybody here. But he could paint. Has your father been painting long? <laughs> Laura's quite the art critic. She used to model. Photographers, mostly. She specialized in exotic poses with snakes. Oh, Tom just gets so clever when he's trying to get into somebody's pants. Listen, when you go to bed with him tonight, why don't you let him sleep? Laura, I am tired of having to apologize for you. Yuck! This stuff is shitty tasting. You're not supposed to eat the fuzz. He said he was a collector of old legends. He thought my father knew something of the legend of Point Dune. I told him my father wasn't here. He said they could wait. Lost? No. I've been walking. Have you seen the fires on the beach? No, I haven't. traveling companions could help. Well, they're very angry with me. They get jealous when I'm around strange women. How awkward. Really? So if you just... Uh... Body surf. 
He's just farting around with her. Yeah, we'll let him fart around. I'm going to San Francisco. Mickey will take me in. Who's Mickey? He's a drummer. What about me? You're just a kid. You'll be all right.
17th. I dread the night coming on now. The fires on the beach are more numerous. And more of them are coming out at night from a town. It's more horrifying than I expected. A crazy old man told me a story today about Point Dune a century ago and a dark stranger arriving and the monstrous things that happened to people when he came. I thought I was going mad, but worse now, I think the hideous things I'm seeing are not imaginary. What are you doing? What is this bullshit? I can't get any stations in. Here. Why are they all out? There are no stations in this town. You can't hear anything. 
can't we go, Tom? It's not that I care. It's just that I'm scared. Of what? I don't know. I tried to sleep, and I fell in and out of half dreams. I remember my father saying that you're about to awaken when you dream that you're dreaming. I felt like I was losing control. Losing control? It's not nightmares any longer, but something like a sickness that's still there with the sunrise. I think my body is being taken over by some unspeakable evil that's turning me into... knows him. I don't know where else you go. Arlotti, I think you should leave here. That's a great idea. Why don't you both leave? Then maybe I could get a little sleep.
Yes, it is. What? The police said it must have been a mental problem. They had picked up my father twice in town. He was found wandering around before dawn. He never knew where he was, what he was doing in the dark streets. And then, people reported seeing him on the beach, building a huge sculpture. The tide must have collapsed it on top of him. July 20th. If the cities of the world were destroyed tomorrow, they would all be rebuilt to look like Point Jewel. Entirely normal. Quiet. Silent, though, because of the shared horror in common. I know it's hiding now beneath its stucco skin. I remember the night my father died. He was coming home from work, drunk. He started, started bleeding out of control. They found children eating raw meat. And it, it was like the town was pestering with a, an open sore until the night that they... We're never going to leave this place, are we? Until the night they came down out of the canyon and... This noise at the other end of the house it sounded like somebody crying. I looked all over, but I didn't see nobody. I'm bored. Why don't you uh, go to a film? A what? A movie. Oh, a show. Great. I get to take the car. Then. You two can be alone together. I sat in my father's chair. The mundane scenes around me were of Point June. They were slightly distorted and foreboding, as if they were hiding some message. Just as I knew now, the town was hiding some dark fear. July 21st. My body temperature has dropped to 85. This morning I passed blood again. It's as if the thing is taking over my body. No longer needs human blood. Already. 
that's right. and large. That wasn't my father. Are you sure? Yes! God. Tony.
life isn't always fair and sunny. Life isn't always...
through the sliding glass door making that that noise that that awful noise we tried to get the children but they already had them in the hall they went after them like sharks my husband dragged me out and we ran to some neighbors who had guns but it didn't stop and they kept attacking anyway but he's still there you've got to help i, I can't feeling any pain. I, no! I ripped it off at the joint. I felt nothing at all. I, I'm disintegrating rapidly.
father. Alagi, I tried to warn you. I dragged one of the bodies they killed up on the beach, but you still didn't leave. There's little time left. You'll have to go. Tell people on the outside. Warn them that what happened a hundred years ago is happening again. What? Listen. Please listen. He came a hundred years ago. A hunter first saw him. He told the hunter that he had been a minister and had come over the mountains with the Donner Party. He passed that horrible winter with them and saw men commit hideous acts. He said that he himself had eaten human flesh, but had survived because he had faith. Faith in a new master. The hunter didn't understand when the dark stranger said he was spreading this new religion. <laughs> when they found the hunter, he looked as if he'd been attacked by some kind of animal, half eaten. As he was dying, he told them of the dark stranger. And they assumed he was delirious. When he went into a fit, biting at them like a rabid dog, they shot him. The dark stranger watched the chaos. And he walked into the sea and said he would return a hundred years later to a world tired and disillusioned, a world looking back to old gods and old dark ways. Oh, world. You've got to go now. Most of this town is infected. It's got to be destroyed before the moon turns blood red and he returns to lead them up the coast and inland into the cities. We can both go. They took me and they did this to me.
Arletti. Arletti? <coughs> Arletti? Arletti? Why didn't you leave? I came back here to get you. Tom, it's too late. Sarah. They're traveling in packs like wolves. I think the whole town.
We thought we must have made it out of the town. And then we saw the first one. They were coming down to the beach as they did every night. To stare at the ocean and wait. We could go no further. They were all around, watching us, staring at us, as if we were trapped animals, caught, already bleeding, yet still struggling hopelessly. We hoped to make it to one of the small boats on the horizon, and then we would drift out and head for safety down the coast. He was having trouble with his arm. I had hurt him. And now I couldn't help him. Boats didn't seem any nearer. And the last thing I saw was the setting sun. They hadn't let me drown. They had pulled me from the water. They had prevented my last escape. At night, most of the town was on the beach. They built their fires, not for warmth but as beacons to be seen from the black ocean. They dressed me in an old gown. I was to be offered, and following their prophecy, the moon turned blood red, and the dark stranger returned. me go with a story that condemned me, knowing that they wouldn't listen. He was right. I made it back, and they put me here. He told them of the dark stranger, and they assumed he was delirious. When he went into a fit, biting like a rabid dog, they shot him. It was like the night the moon turned blood red. red. The moon got up Horrible, pain. The closer the people no were being jerked, Lord Hell. They crashed into farm houses and gorged themselves. They could do horrible things. For an old folks were shooting around the street a hundred years ago. <laughs> During the day, they let me out with the others. We sit in the sun and wait, we sleep, and we dream, each of us dying slowly in the prison of our minds. Hold on to love. I say, 
I gave my message to the wind. I told my story to the sea. 